Good morning, everybody. Welcome to week 24. I'm going to quickly go over our assignments for this week and everything we're going to be working on. So first you will see 3.1.1, which is the Keystone Library rough floor plan document. Check out that document. Um, this is where I'd like you to start laying out the floor plan for your Keystone Library. We've got our exterior walls. We've got our ceilings. Now we're going to be working on floors here in the next week and we need to have a floor plan ready to go so that we can start building that floor plan so you're going to be creating a rough one just like we did for our um affordable home we created a rough floor plan these floor plans can be changed however they'll need to be documented when they're changed but i have put together a little document to help you work your way through that so you're going to create a rough floor plan of where you would like the layout of the following areas inside um, to be. Be sure to do research and make sure you're giving appropriate amount of space for these areas. Um, so you can see here you've got your entry and circular circulation desk area, your help desk, open area for stacks as your bookshelves and computer terminals, so forth and so on. And what you're going to do is you're going to turn in first and second floor floor plans. Now you've got two ways of doing this. You can fully sketch it out on your own. Um, you can grab a piece of graph paper or a plain, piece of plain paper. Um, either way you end up doing this, I want you to use a ruler so that your lines are straight, everything's nice and neat. So you can either do it and draw the walls all yourself, or you can print out the blank floor plans of your first and second floor and draw them in that way that we already have your exterior walls. So do keep that in mind. If you do print them out, please print them out to a certain scale so that you can obviously make it more appropriately sized. That will definitely help you in the long run. But you're going to obviously do the first and second floor sketches. You should label your rooms or your areas, include rough window and door placements, and then bathroom layouts for commercial buildings. You'll probably have to research how those should look, but I want those included as well. Because uh, you have a public restroom on your first floor and a public restroom on your second floor. So that is the first assignment. The next one is a small PowerPoint with a small note section. Just check it out. It's on commercial structural framing systems. It's not too terribly long. But um, this is the only point at which we're going to be spending on this right now. We might come back to it, but for now we're just going to just quickly talk about it. But this goes over um, commercial structural framing systems. So uh, low-rise framing system, cast-in-place concrete, structural steel, load-bearing walls, hybrid system, cost structure, structural efficiency. And you can see that as they go through. There's not much here, but it does go over some good information. So I want you to take some notes on that. Finally, the last thing I have for you is you've got to create the green roof walking path. So we have the green roof in, now we've got to put the walking path in. <clears throat> so if we open up this document, you'll see what you have to do. It's not too incredibly hard, especially since you are now um, pros at creating wall types, you should be able to create floor types. So this walking path can either be made out of concrete or brick, whatever you prefer, but it is a floor system so you would create a floor edit the types and obviously either brick or concrete whichever you choose and you'll put that in in the way that you deem i'll be putting in a video of how i put it in everybody's path should be slightly different either you'll have a walk path so that people can just walk around or you'll have a walking path and a slab so that people can like sit out there and check it out and still walk around but it's up to you but i want you to insert a screenshot here when you are finished but those are the three assignments I have for you this week. Obviously, if you have any questions, please feel free to shoot me a message or ask me in class. Otherwise, I'll see you guys later and hope you have a great rest of your week.